everybody. So it's been a while since I posted a video up. In fact, uh, I got a new toy right now, and it's tweener season here in Minnesota. So I figured I'd share it with you. In fact, uh, it's about this time of year that the snow is starting to get on everybody's mind, so it's time to put away toys, namely Wave Runners. Wildcat needs to get cleaned up. Of course, motorcycles should get cleaned up. But to do that, I got a new toy to play with. I want to show it to you today, so I'm going to unbox it here. Don't worry with all the unboxing, but show you a little bit because I'm going to assemble it a little bit. And I want to thank my guys over on Sea Boys TV. Shout out. Check out the link below. I'm going to put it in here for you as well. Go check out their channel. Subscribe, like, enjoy their channel. But they showed a little bit of this toy, but I'm going to show you a little bit more. In fact, there's plenty of videos out there showing you how to assemble this. But I'm going to show you a little bit as well myself. And then tomorrow, if we're supposed to get up in the 70s and be sunny, then I'm going to get it out front and we'll wash a few things. So this is a new foam cannon that we from MTM Hydro, and the Sea Boys showed you how to use it, or they've shown how to foam each other with it. I'm going to show you how to wash some things. Uh, we put 100 miles on the Wildcat last weekend, and it needs some mud cleaned off of it. So we'll go ahead and open this thing up, and I'll show you the parts that I got. Now, what I did is I added the parts that I needed to make it work with my pressure washer. Your pressure washer will be different, so use their online charts and stuff. That'll be just fine. So what I bought is I bought one of their... One of their handles. This is the SG28 handle. This is right from Italy. MTM is an Ital Italian company. And they got a distributor down in Savage, Minnesota. For all you guys in Minnesota, North Dakota, you can get this stuff in like two days. I ordered like morning on Saturday and I got this stuff. So this is a solid Italian made pressure washer gun. Uh, I got a set of tips as well. You know, I, I, I've got a good wand with my pressure washer, but I needed this to use the foam cam. So got those items as well. Got a number of um, connectors. These are 3 8 inch uh, connectors that'll go on the end of my existing wand, on the gun as well, and of course on my pressure washer. And then quarter inch tips. The quarter inch tips are going to be on the other end of the gun. They're going to go between the foam cannon and the gun, or these tips. You can see each one of them has got a quarter inch. Look up close there. Each one of them has got a quarter inch end on them. So I can just plug them right into the gun. If I want to, I might get a longer wand as well. So I've got enough of those tips. I've also got the coupler. The coupler is going to go, of course, on the end of my hose on my pressure washer. I'm going to put these all on with Teflon tape and such so everything seals up nice. But these are solid units. I'm kind of digging it. Come on. Oh, oh, oh. This, that's the foam cannon. This is the type of thing that, no, you're probably not going to see it at that rave and where you're part, partying out in the field with a whole bunch of foam. In fact, th but this is something that's going to foam up your car, or your snowmobile, or your motorcycle, or your your ATV and such to clean them up. From what I love about this thing, or everything I've been told, nice bottle with measurements on the side of it, so you can measure out your soap. That's kind of nice. Pores, and this is the magic. This is the foam cannon piece of it, where you can adjust the mixture of foam, the angle that it's going to shoot, either horizontal or vertical, and the the, the width of the foam. So. I'm kind of excited. That thing's solid. Oh, and the tip already with Teflon tape on it is included too. Or you can connect it up to your hose directly. So I have one extra tip, but you know what? They were pretty cheap. They're only a few dollars. So I can save that tip for the next accessory that I'm going to plug in. And it could be a rotating brush or something like that. Come to remind me that my rotating brush has got a proprietary end because I've got a Campbell Hausfeld pressure washer underneath the bench here. So it's got proprietary ends on it. But we're going to use these to get set up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some tools here ready to go. We're going to assemble this thing right here on the bench and then we'll fire it up with the pressure washer. Okay, so I've laid out some tools to do this sort of thing and it's actually not pretty diff not very difficult. I'm actually going to be, uh, I've already wrapped some of these of course with Teflon tape so they're ready to rock. Just a matter of screwing them in. So now the gun is assembled. It's ready to go. Now in actuality this is good to go once we're connected up to our pressure washer, of course. The tips, which come in the different sizes and they're color-coded, these are international color coatings. Of course, we can grab any one of these tips and they're not going to snap into the end of our gun. Even if we don't have a wand, we can do that sort of thing. So we pull down the collar, snap it in, great. Now we've got a pressure washer gun pretty much as it sits. But the next goal, what we really want to do is get our foam cannon hooked up to it. So that's what we do this. Put in the bottle. Straightforward. And that's going to attach to our gun. Foam cannon, snub gun. There it is. That's ready to go. We'll get the other attachments put onto our pressure washer and we can test it out tomorrow. So, after playing with the 
foam cannon just a little bit, getting it hooked up. We had a chance to wash the wildcat off just with a little bit of, of water, and now I've put a foam layer on it. But I'm going to demonstrate this thing really quick, like in case it helps. We're going to wipe these uh, down with a pressure washer and then we'll give them a good salt. For now, we're just going to wet them down to get the main stuff cleaned up. It's freaking awesome, isn't it? Check this out. We're going to do this side. Get some hose. 